ich I have Down Syndrome and I have a disability. But actually that's not true. It's not how I feel. Here at Bezo wants to be a professional dancer. He trains every day with a dance company in Germany's Black Forest region. It's called Scene at Sai, or Scene 2. Here, dancers with and without disabilities perform together. The company doesn't view Jörg's condition as an impairment, seeing instead his artistic potential. First, they stretch and warm up and take time to center themselves. It's a special day for the dance company. It's the first day of the new production. The first performance will be in a few months' time. The two choreographers, William Sanchez and Timo Gmaina, will have their work cut out for them, as will all the members of the group. Every rehearsal begins with a meditation. The training here focuses not only on producing a top performance, but also on developing the ability to look inwards. The production has a name, of course. It's called No Name, Asterisk, the musical. It's about gender and diversity and it will be Jörg's sixth production with Sina Zwei. He's been a part of this inclusive ensemble for six years now. It specializes in contemporary dance theater, bringing together performers with and without disabilities. Artistic potential is what counts here, nothing else, and there's plenty of that. Whether it's Ricarda, who's unable to walk, or Jörg, who has Down syndrome. For me, Being different is normal for me, and so is accepting the way we are. My goal is just to be a dancer. Dancing is my thing. I love the movement. I've realized that I need movement. I need it for my mind, but also for my body. Just sitting in a wheelchair the whole time would be terrible. For me, dancing is about lightness and strength. But dancing has also made me more self-confident. I've become a self-confident young woman. I notice that in myself now. Jörg and Ricarda still need to complete their training as professional stage dancers. They spend every afternoon here. In the mornings, they do a job in a workshop for the disabled. Choreographers Timo Gmeiner and William Sanchez develop their ambitious training concept together. They feel that dance companies generally should be more open to people with disabilities, giving them equal opportunities. Contemporary dance is about expression, movement, dealing with various themes on the stage through body language. Individuality, yes, diversity, and working with different people, bringing them together on the stage, each person, each body, whether or without a disability, can fulfill these points. Contemporary professional dance is what they're interested in, without labels like disabled or even inclusive. But not everyone agrees with their approach. Of course we have to be honest and say that many theaters and other establishments that we'd like to work with or perform projects with 
are not open to us. And that's because of discrimination. Some members of the ensemble live in shared accommodation, not far from the rehearsal room. They've come back for a break. Jörg hands out pieces of cake left over from his 28th birthday party earlier in the week. Five years ago, Jörg moved out from his parents' home, 450 kilometers away, to come and live here in this accommodation. For him, it was a big step towards independence. Jörg didn't think about it twice, did you? I suggested it in the group, and Jörg said straight away, okay, yeah, I'll move to the Black Forest. Yep, that's right. <laughs> Being able to do things like that is like taking away the barriers and moving forward. It's about positive thinking and not seeing things so negatively. He spends many hours a day rehearsing, often alone. Today, too, he heads back to the dance room after everyone else is finished. He wants to show us a solo dance that he performed on stage in Hamburg. A few months ago, he received a grant to take part in a very high-profile dance workshop. He was the first dancer with a disability to receive such a grant. I was so relieved to have so many people in the audience and to be able to give my own performance. It was really, really good. Being able to show them my abilities and strength, my potential, so that they can see, yes, that's a dancer. He has a disability, but he's a normal person. Dancing and performing on stage is something completely natural for him. What he wants is for the audience to see him as a professional dancer. Nothing more, but nothing less either. I have Down syndrome, and I have a disability, but actually that's not true. It's not how I feel. I'm just a normal person like you. We return to the dance company four months later. It's now just a few days to go before the premiere of the new production. I'm really looking forward to the premiere, but I'm pretty nervous. We've now reached the final point where the production doesn't belong here anymore. Now it needs a stage. And the stage means makeup and costumes. Today is the first full dress rehearsal. Jörg is hoping that this premiere will bring him another step closer to his goal. I'd like to do other things too, not just David Zena 2. Once he's completed his dance training at Zena 2, he'd like to take on roles with other dance companies that don't normally include artists with disabilities. Jörg's colleague Fernando Balsera often dances with other conventional companies. He says competition between the dancers is fierce, not like at Zena 2, where there's more a sense of team spirit. If two dancers are very similar, they automatically compete with each other. The more different they are, the less that happens. Here, everyone seeks to draw the best out of each other, instead of constantly comparing themselves. Say hello to your mom first. Hello. <laughs> it's their first reunion in months. Jörg's parents have traveled right across Germany for the premiere to watch their son perform. They noticed his dance talent early on and encouraged it. But they never thought he could have a professional dance career. That's good.
Ich habe das erstmal I didn't take it so seriously at first. nicht so ganz ernst genommen, weil because I couldn't äh, see that he had any prospects. Ich habe eine Perspektive gesehen habe. Ähm, you normally have to Ausbildung have been through higher education to do training like that. Haben, ne? Und, äh, And the opportunities just aren't there. Die Möglichkeiten sind nicht da. Die Bühne zu bevölkern. Today, they're grateful that Jürgen grabbed his opportunity when it came. The development he's undergone is sensational for us too. We never expected that Jörg would be so independent and live out his talents. Finally, the big night arrives. They're performing at a theater in the city of Reutlingen and are about to go on stage. I'm a bit nervous, but I'm really looking forward to this premiere. I just feel like a professional dancer. The production explores the theme of role reversal. One time Jörg is sat in a wheelchair. The boundaries between different genders merge. None of the performers have a fixed identity. They're constantly changing. Premiere is a resounding success. The level of dancing was really amazing. I've never seen anything like that before. I thought it was really beautiful. The variety of dance styles and so free. Jörg thinks there can't be enough variety in dance. He hopes to convince many more people in future that artists like him can make contemporary dance richer and more diverse.